Hey guys, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I want to show you how to purchase NEO. So NEO is a cryptocurrency. It's basically the Chinese version of Ethereum. And I want to show you how to uh, buy some. So first thing you're going to need uh, is some Bitcoin. So if you don't already have Bitcoin, you're going to want to purchase some of that. In order to get some of that, the easiest place to go is going to be Coinbase.com. And uh, you just sign up for an account. I'm going to put a link in the show notes here for you. So you can just click on that and it'll give you, uh, actually give you $10 if you buy about $100 worth or more of Bitcoin. So step one, buy Bitcoin. You can use your credit card uh, or a bank transfer to do that. Um, so once you have Bitcoin, we want to purchase some NEO. So uh, what I like to do is go to coinmarketcop.com and click, click on the cryptocurrency that you're looking for, then click markets. And here we can see all the different places where you can buy it. A lot of these require intense sign up and IDs and everything like that, which is a pain um, in something you might not want to do. It's just time consuming and things like that. So what I found is this Gate.io website, and I'm going to put a link in this as well because there's a referral code so you get a little discount and stuff like that. Um, I'll put that in the show notes. But basically, if you go to this website here, you can deposit Bitcoin into it, and then you can trade Neo um, for it. And it's important to look when you look at these different exchanges that you could withdraw because once you purchase Neo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw that to my uh, desktop wallet here, or actually I have this stored on my Nano Ledger S, which is a hardware wallet. And the reason for that is if somebody hacks my computer, they can't actually get access to my Neo. They actually need to physically push in my uh, passcode on my Ledger, my basically is a device plugged into my computer very secure that way um, and that's the way I prefer it so a lot of steps here but I'm gonna to try to break it down to small steps so step one get some Bitcoin step two we're gonna to need to transfer that in to gate IO and to do that you can look for your uh, Bitcoin wallet address so you can find your Bitcoin here you're gonna put deposit and of course you've already signed up I'm skipping the step of the sign up phase but that's really easy to do so sign up we're going to deposit some Bitcoin. So I'm using um, another software here called Exodus Wallet. And I'm going to send Bitcoin to this address. Got the address here. And you want to look at your fees. It's about $15 in fees. Be aware of that. And I'm just going to go. And this is the first time you're sending it. You probably want to start off with something small, like maybe $100 or $50. Make sure that everything transfers correctly, that you did everything right. And after that, then you can send your larger amount if you're sending a larger amount. But never send a large amount the first time if you've never done it before, um, because you can do the wrong address by mistake. And always verify the last couple digits, LJ, and the first couple, um, just to make sure that everything's being sent right because there's no way to refund this stuff if you send it to the wrong address. So we're gonna let that send. It's gonna take a little while to confirm where I can actually trade in here. So I'm gonna just uh, pause the video here and we'll fast forward. Okay, as now, as you can see, the funds have transferred. So I have 970. Even though I sent a um, thousand, I lost some to fees. And also this particular exchange could calculate Bitcoin slightly different or the price of Bitcoin might have dropped in the last uh, half an hour hour it took so be aware of this when you do exchanging and things like that that you you will lose some funds to to kind of exchanges and stuff like that so now it's time to purchase and so we can go to the BTC market find NEO click on that I'm gonna do the full amount so I'm just gonna click my balance it auto fills out amount of near I'm gonna get and the price now you I can play with these numbers and, and go slightly down I just want to get it as quickly as possible so that's just, just by clicking this it puts in the lowest price right now that people are selling it for so we click buy it's gonna confirm and then it's gonna double check by putting the password in and so the order is placed 
Now this might take a couple of minutes to confirm. As you can see, it's actually going through here and it's gonna go through in small increments until I get the full amount. And then it'll tell you how much is left. So it might take, you know, 10, 15 minutes. If within an hour, nothing's been completed, you wanna cancel the transaction and try it again. Um, the prices might've just gone up too quickly or something like that. But just let that sit. All right, so after about five, 10 minutes, um, this is transferred again. You're seeing a little bit of uh, money getting kind of eaten up in fees and transactions and things like that. Um, that's something to be aware of. And you know, the hope is that obviously the price of NEO doubles or triples, so all that will be washed away with that. But now what I'd like to do is get it off the exchange. So to do that, you're gonna download the NEO wallet. Um, just go to the main NEO website. It is a little bit slow to load. So it's neo.org. Um, I just put, I'm gonna put in a quick link to where you can download the wallet. So it's gonna be GitHub here, and it, you download the Windows wallet if that's what you need, or the Mac wallet or Linux, things like that. So once you have the wallet installed, you're gonna come up with something like this. And um, let me actually back out here a little bit. So you can um, do these different things. I'm gonna use the ledger. Um, so I'm not going to go through creating a new wallet, but you can, there's a bunch of different YouTube videos on that, but you're going to connect my ledger here. Here we go. And so what I want to do is I'm going to just receive, let's let that go. It's just still sinking. So, um, I'm going to receive just a little bit of coin. Like maybe I'll do maybe 10, $20 worth, um, just to make sure, you know, all everything's correct and stuff like that. You be careful, you know, with moving new coins, new wallets, especially ones if you just set up. So get this receive address and you're going to go to new and you're going to hit withdraw. And you're going to put that address in. Okay, so actually we have to do at least a minimum amount of one. So it must be an integer. So it can't be 0.1 or 0.2, it, even though that, that's what the gate uh, IO says that you can do minimum of 0.1. You really can't. You actually have to send one or above. So um, we're going to just do one, which is right now, about 146 bucks. So we'll send that out and we'll go to our wallets and refresh this. And that might take a little while to come into the account. Okay. So after about another hour, I'd say, uh, we finally got the Neo in the wallet. Um, as you can see here, it's, uh, we get 151, so it actually went up a slight bit since I deposited um, the NEO. And so now I'll go through and, and do the rest. But I just wanna give you guys that quick tutorial on how to purchase NEO, get it into your own wallet. Um, now it's safe and secure, and um, it's on my uh, Ledger Nano S, so I'm gonna keep it there. I'll plug it and it's it's good to go. So if you guys have any questions about the video, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you have time, please subscribe to my channel, click here to watch more videos, or please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.